Well, today we're going to begin with grand design. And I know some of you have requested that I walk through some of these units and uh, let's see if I can find the ones that you want. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Okay, we'll start here with this grand design Imagine XLS 17MKE, MSRP 30 and change, and today at the show, 19777. That's uh, quite affordable, actually, for something like this. This is a, has a Murphy bed here in the front. Nice recliners. And I like the attention to design uh, from someone like Grand Design. Pun intended. The TV is in front of your recliners. It's not that difficult. <laughs> and uh, actually, I really like this ducted AC, so it's not too loud. It's, it might sound a little loud here on my microphone, but it's not, actually, it's not bad at all. You could watch TV with it on. Look at the amount of counter space that we have here. Very nice, large sink, three burner, propane, you know, standard stuff. And this is a Furion, not a Natwood. And here we have a propane oven. Standard RV refrigerator. Two-way gas and electric. And um, and the thing with Grand Design, look at the thickness. You know, it feels solid. Here we have our entertainment center, uh, DVD, and uh, you know all the controls. In this unit, we have one slide, which is right there, and um, here's uh, the bathroom, which is a porcelain toilet, of course. And uh, let's do the shower test real quick. I mean, it's not the tallest shower in the world, but I still have like a couple of inches to spare. Being 5'10", it's, if so, someone uh, over 6'2", six, six might have an issue with, uh, with that. And we have some storage, medicine cabinet, lots of storage for, for your toiletries. That's uh, the one thing I would put a fantastic vent there, which is uh, a little bit of an expensive upgrade, but I would do it. Here's very nice with a light and I guess to keep things warm or cold. Nice regular windows, no, uh, none of that awning style windows. And on, on the outside here, we have a very, very nice storage. Now here is pretty, it's pretty large. Not the largest one I've seen by any means, but and we got two propane tanks here in the front and uh, your battery. And that's about it. I don't have a whole lot of information. Let me see if I can find some information about uh, the the holding tanks and, uh, and that kind of thing oh here here we go and um, tank capacity 45 45 37 that seems to be the there, there's one that has an 82 gray tank the 22 rbe that would be fantastic the ones that have the 82 gray tank because as you know that's the one thing that will prevent you from boondocking long term your tank fills up you know you can always recharge your battery you can always, uh, uh, you know, go get water, but if you have to dump, then you have to move or at least get one of those tote tanks, the, like the one that I have. This is the Imagine XLS 24 MPR. And imagine this is one of, I imagine this Imagine is <laughs> one of the ones with a, with a larger um, tank. This one also has a Murphy bed here in the, in the front. Which, as you know, it's, it's not exactly my favorite thing because that means both of you have to go to sleep at the same time. And some of us, you know, we have different schedules. This is quite nice. It's, it's not like a, like a fake marble or travertine or what, what we call a Korean countertop. It's that um, synthetic material. This feels like hard plastic, which if well implemented would be durable. 
uh, in the wet conditions of an area like this or an area like this, the bathroom. So, smallish sink, but again, it's, everything feels pretty solid. It, it, it feels like, like it is well built, which to really know we would have to go like under, under the, the proverbial hood, but here we have some more storage next to the refrigerator and this large drawers here. Oh, here we have, they have the, the floor plan. Imagine 24 MPR and um, back here, look at that. This is a toy hauler. We have bunk beds here in the back. And uh, I imagine this could even be an, an outdoor area where you could hang out. If it's raining, you know, you can put a couple of chairs here and the, and even when this when the when the ramp is closed you have a door here so you can go in and out they like said you have a sink there yeah I don't wanna let's let's keep going let's see uh, some other imagine imagine that the Imaging XLS, this it's one of the items that I, I received uh, a couple of emails uh, about you guys wanting to see some of this. Okay, this one has a permanent bed here in the front, which by the way, I, 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 I know sometimes uh, uh, trailers and beds in the front uh, could be, uh, uh, I mean, I'm, and I, I would love to have a window there in the front, just saying. For, for, for the designers at Grand Design. Here again, this is a, by a Thomas Paine collection. Very nice. I shouldn't have to say, but all LEDs, of course. Which, by the way, these are, yeah, no, these are not the same ones as they're doing in the... I always try to check for, for common things, because as you know, Grand Design is now owned by Wanabego. So uh, sometimes, you know, they, they share um, fixtures and stuff, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels like the new Winnebago's are borrowing from Grand Design and not Grand Design from Winnebago. That's a nice TV right there, very nice uh, dinette, which I'm sure uh, turns into a sleeping surface. Uh, the rest is the same as um, same fixtures, just slightly different plans, same materials, just a slightly different uh, floor plan. And I noticed I haven't uh, told you prices. Uh, this one will be 31,000 MSRP, which means it's probably much, much lower. I, I see that they're, they're, um, they're cutting prices uh, pretty um, aggressively here at the RV show today with the Grand Designs. Okay, this one, show price 23,777. So they, 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 they're giving you $8,000 uh, discount there right off the bat no need to negotiate or anything I mean you you could probably I don't know how, how much lower you could get it and the previous one was about the same price the previous one uh, that I didn't tell you the price is uh, you save 10 grand 10 grand 11 11 11 111 it's early guys the, the, my, my Cuban coffee hasn't quite kicked in yet <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, check out these other imagines here but well, let's see as many imagines as, as we can imagine. Well, I forgot the uh, XLR RBE. Let me see if I can find that one, which is the one. This is BHE, this is RBE, this is the one. And they're cleaning it right now, so I'm going to um, come back in a few. <laughs> I took a break, went to see something else, and it looks like the Imagine XLS is now uh, open. They were cleaning it, and I think that the thing is, you know, everything is full of this uh, condensation because it's it's a very it's uh, apparently it was a very humid night here in in, in Florida. This is the Magin XLS 22 RBE, and let's uh, take a look at it. Here we have a, a nice uh, walk around bed in the front, queen size bed, with his and hers closets. Let's see, you know, I always like to get the feet the the, the feel of. It's not super thick wood, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart anytime soon. Here we have our control panel, emergency exit. Let me see, do we have his and hers USBs? Well, we have a, a power plug down there. 
and here we have USB and a power plug. So um, the person sleeping on this side of the bed better have like a very long USB cable so you can charge your, your phone or your tablet in the middle of the night. Here we have um, your, your twin recliners with this really cool, um, I don't know how you turn them on, but it's uh, you, uh, here, this, this one is turned on. I guess you can have it cold or hot and it has a light. It's kind of cute. Here you have a table. It's probably a removable table that you can put in front of the recliners. I like the accent LED lighting down there. I like that the TV is right in front of those recliners. And I like that you have a window under the TV. So you can look at both the, you know, whatever, uh, whatever landscape you have to, you happen to be in front of. And the TV at the same time. And here we have, look at all this counter space. This is my kind of rig. Look at all this counter space. And look at these deep drawers. And they feel very satisfying the way, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's none of that soft uh, or closing, but it doesn't feel like it's going to open in the middle of the, on the road. But then again, it's not like that super, super tight uh, feel. Three burner, propane, nothing uh, new here. It's the same uh, dependable old technology. Here we have a nice large sink with this, uh, I guess, drying rack and this, um, I don't know what that is for, but in any case, it's, uh, it's a nice sink. Here we have um, power outlets, regular microwave, and here, for some reason, they decided to put the radio right on the kitchen, which is good. It's, I mean, it's not a bad location, but and you have like lots of storage, like if you want to hide something back there or, you know, that, that's, your, that's your smuggling space right there. Um, refrigerator standard, standard uh, two-way domestic gas, uh, gas and, uh, and electric. Here in the bathroom, lots of room here to put all your toiletries, shampoo, that kind of thing. And uh, here your medicine cabinet, very large. I mean, if, if you are one of those uh, people who have a, like a lot, a lot of toiletries, I mean, you could also, add, uh, I suppose you could also store other stuff there, right? Who has 40 bottles of shampoo, you know? But um, here we go, emergency exit, uh, toilet, porcelain, of course. Here we have more uh, smuggling uh, area, which is, it's not as deep as the one we saw in the other one, but it's, you know, it's, it's elbow deep. Which is good because you can reach all the way to the back. Here we have the shower. Yep, I fit perfectly. A six foot uh, person would fit perfect. And it has that squeegee shower curtain, which actually is very, it works very well. Just hold and press in. Don't just press in because I did that once and the thing went like zoom. Uh, and that's the whole thing. You know, nice LED light fixtures everywhere. I don't know about this table, it's kind of, it's probably not, uh, you know, the, they, they need to tighten those, those screws down there. Someone forgot to tighten the screws. Um, there we go. All right, everybody, this has been uh, our tour of the Grand Design Imagine and, um, this one, the 22 RBE that you guys requested that I, um, I show you, it's uh, 31, 165 uh, MSRP, but at the Super Show, you can have it for a mere 22,777, which seems like a good price. We have standard wheels, you know, so let, let's uh, walk around a little bit since uh, we are here practically, practically by ourselves. Let's uh, see the storage under here, which is nice. It's, um, it's good. I, I like the fact that they put lights down here and it's a motion sensor light. So you don't have to worry. I like the fact that it's a magnet. So just go like that. It's very satisfying. Let's see, uh, you know, two propane tanks. 
and uh, the battery and uh, let's see if we can open this side yes we can and uh, that satisfying magnet sound down here we have an outside shower what could be used as an outside shower that's a little drain um, and some of your controls for the fresh water system the city city water connection and the uh, coaxial for your cable this is a, a solar it's, it's solar ready so you can have a uh, you can attach a solar panel to it on this side. That's your your gravity fill, your sewer, you know, standard. And this is probably your. Do not use tank flush. Tank flush. Yeah, this is uh, to to clean your black water tank. Power. You have a ladder that you can go to, up to the roof, and that's. Um, Lazy days with selling it. Water heater. Oop! I almost hit my head with the with the awning. <laughs> and this is like another outside shower. It's a spray port, so uh, you can you know wash things outside with that little hose. Let me leave this locked here because yeah, it's very very humid morning here in the in the Tampa Bay area. Let let me see what else what else is on my list. Coming to you from the Florida RV Super Show 2020, 35th anniversary. I'm riding, riding in my 